Design of the Week. Architecture is famously the outcome of a client to create a relationship. But what happens when the architect is their own client? Like Aline Gray's E1027, these homes become capsules of their own architectural ideas, almost always achieving the status of architectural icons. The Geary residence stands out amidst its contemporaries. After acquiring an existing house in Santa Monica, Geary set out to demonstrate his bold ideas almost immediately. His deconstructivist style is so distinctly encapsulated in his home that it even found its way to the popular television series, The Simpsons. Casa Barragan, on the other hand, is a house with an unassuming facade. Only upon entering the house, can one delight in the bold forms and colors that Barragon famously brought into architecture. The sculptural nature of his playful combination of water, plants, sunlight, and freestanding walls still influence artists and architects today. Lina Bobardi's Casa de Vidro, or Glass House, was both her home and a social center. It was an open house whose visitors included film director Rossellini, artist Alexander Calder, and musician John Cage. The main purpose of the house was not to make you look at it. The fusion of the glass front and the solid rear was an inconsistency that the types like Mies van der Rohe would not have tolerated. The glass house was made to make things happen. Regardless of taste, architects' homes are extraordinarily personal and experimental structures and attract hordes of attention from architecture students and enthusiasts alike from all around the world. Hello, my name is Quentin and the green tip of this week is about houseplants. Caring for houseplants is a wonderful way of getting a bit of soil beneath your fingernails, especially if you don't have a garden. I'm no expert when it comes to houseplants, however my recent experience with these guys has taught me a thing or two. Firstly, like all plants, understanding which conditions they like and dislike is crucial, especially when houseplants are in the picture, since they can be very temperamental, like this maiden hair fern. She seems to be very fussy about the amount of light, humidity and moisture she receives. That being said, some species are fairly easy to look after, such as this mother-in-law's tongue, which will do well indoors and out of direct sunlight. Calatheas, on the other hand, also enjoy the shade, which is why we bought it since our living room is relatively dark and west-facing. However, we may have put it in too dark a spot or not watered it enough, as it developed brown edges to its leaves. Since moving to a brighter position, its new leaves seem well. For me, caring for houseplants is a lot about doing initial research, combined with trial and error. Oh, and don't overwater. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.
In this video, American electronic composer Juliana Barwick casts a haunting glow over Philip Johnson's seminal glass house, which was the architect's home from 1949 until his death in 2005. director set up a light installation to play with the shadows in the Connecticut space, making use of its clear glass exterior to capture the structure at night. Nebula becomes an experiment in chiaroscuro, constantly exploring the relationship between light and dark. It's moody, but also brings magic into these dark January days.